Erin Henley, professional makeup artist, and today I'm going to show you how to do robot makeup. Um, robots are pretty much one color, but there's a couple different dimensions to them. We're going to start out with our grayish base, and this is just the Ben Nye cream that we've done. And so, just make sure that is set on your face. Add anywhere you need it. And then what we're going to do is go in with a silver pigment. So that's going to give a little bit of a metallic shine to it. And I'm just going to go over this, over the gray, in certain areas. Robots are kind of tarnished looking, depending on the kind. Some of them are super polished, but I'm just going to go in and apply that pigment in certain areas. And a little bit can travel a decent way, which is my favorite. I love going in the eyebrow hairs. They're quite reflective. You can add a hair gel with this pigment if you want it to be extra, extra shiny. Or you can use the pigment alone. Looks great over the lips. After we have our pigment going on for us, we are just going to outline and give a little bit of a more metal base. So we're just going to draw on some black accents. with a black cream and just draw some little discs together. So I'll just do half of the face. Kind of like she's pieced together. The planks don't have to be necessarily symmetrical either, unless that's the look you're going for. and you can dictate how you want them to look. There's no defined rules. So you can do the whole face if you'd like, or you can just do part of the face. I've seen a lot of both for Halloween, kind of. a fusion between the human and <coughs> everything else. And so we have a nice look going on. I'm Erin Henley and I just showed you how to do robot makeup. 